Hi guys, this is Sandra of the Alexandrite System. Today we are going to talk about our experiences with switching. So switching is when one altar takes control of the body from another altar. Switching is itself a type of dissociation, but it also comes with other types of dissociation. It can come with some like visual dissociation where things get kind of out of focus or they start spinning a little bit. Um, it can also come with that sort of general brain fog dissociation where you kind of like zone out and like you can't think properly or um, everything sort of seems like it's in a dream. Another type of dissociation that is pretty commonly associated with switching is uh, depersonalization. So like watching yourself from the outside. In general, switching is kind of hard to describe because it's such a unique experience. Um, and really, it's kind of unique to every system. But I'm going to do my best to try and describe what it's like when we switch. So I'll say up front, systems don't always realize when they switch. Switching is not always a conscious action that like one alter takes over another. Sometimes the brain will, either from a trigger or from sometimes no real reason at all, will just switch into someone else. So systems don't always know that a switch has happened. One of the funnier ways that realization sometimes happens is that uh, the new alter will be telling a story about something we did, and they'll say, so then Sandra said this, and then they'll go, wait, am I not Sandra? And typically that little, like, subconscious, like, oh, this person who's definitely not me did this, will kick in that, oh, I'm not Sandra. So for us, sometimes switches come with that feeling of watching yourself, but oftentimes it doesn't. Oftentimes it's not that distant, out-of-control feeling, it's more like, I am in control, and my actions, my actions make sense while I'm doing them. But then actual me switches back in, and I go, why did I do that? Like, I no longer have access to that train of thought that led to those actions. It's not, why did I do that, because I regret it. It's, I genuinely have no idea why I did that. So we tend to divide our switches into two types, soft switches and hard switches. So a soft switch was best defined by the patchwork system in their switching video. It's like you have two volume knobs, and one is all the way up and one is all the way down, and you just sort of mix them until this one is all the way up and this one is all the way down. And there's that middle period where it's like 50-50 and everything is just sort of blended. Um, but eventually it settles out where one is more dominant. That type of switching tends to be slower for us because of that mixing, but it can go pretty quickly. Sometimes that comes with the feeling of like, oh, my inputs to the body aren't working anymore. There was this one time at work where I was sitting at my desk and it was getting towards the end of the day and I was like, all right, I'll stay for like another 30 minutes and then I'll clock out. As I was thinking that, my hands were punching me out and putting on our coat. And by the time I was, I realized that I had I had done that, I was trying to, like, go back and do something else, and that wasn't working anymore. And at that point, I just kind of sat back and went, oh, I'm, I'm not fronting anymore, am I? And whoever was fronting said out loud, no, no, you're not. And it's kind of an indescribable experience, because, like, you feel like you're still in control, but you're not. You're only in control as much as you want to do the same actions that the other alter who's actually in control wants to do. So as long as you're doing that stuff, you definitely feel like you're in control. But as soon as you're like, 
All right, I'm just going to grab the chocolate ice cream and your hand reaches out for vanilla and grabs it and puts it in your cart. You're just like, well, I, I guess I'm along for the ride. And then there's hard switches. Hard switches tend to be brought out by triggers. Um, a hard switch is like flipping a light switch. It's just kind of instantaneous. It tends to come with a lot of confusion. About half the time, the altar who switches out was not prepared to switch out. There was one time in therapy where Claudia hard switched in. She like blinked in, there was like apparently visible confusion on her face of not where am I, confusion of why am I out? Now we've mostly talked about unplanned switches right now, but we are actually somewhat able to switch on command now. Um, it really depends on who is switching in, who is switching out, are we in a good mood, do we have the energy for it. There are so many things that can go wrong, but we are able to control it more than we were, you know, nine months ago, which is like a huge step because now we can do things like plan who wants to be out for therapy. And we can do things like divvy up time between hobbies without everyone having to fight for control. We can negotiate more because we know that when one person says, hey, if you let me switch in for like an hour so that I can do this, I'll switch out and you can have the body for the rest of the night. We know that they can and will follow through on that, assuming, you know, mental state and energy and that sort of thing. So, I know that switching on camera is sort of its own genre in the DID community. We are going to attempt to do a planned, untriggered switch on camera. A lot of people tend to use positive triggers to, to bring out certain alters who volunteer, but the thing for us is that um, positive triggers only work for so long. Eventually those alters kind of grow numb to that stimulus, but generally by that point they are cohesive enough with the system that we are able to do that communication and that sort of planned switching anyway. So let me feel who's around. Okay, I'm getting kind of dice right here, Susan right here, and Claudia like there. Claudia's gonna be my best bet, but she's... she doesn't seem like she's in the mood. No, no, she's... No. Um, I think I'm gonna try for Susan. Alright. You ready? Hey guys, this is Claudia of the Alexandrite system. Um, Sandra was uh, planning on switching Susan in, but uh, apparently I'm here instead. What I think happened was that when Sandra said I think that Claudia is going to be my best bet, it like already started the switch. And then she tried to pivot to Susan, and it just didn't take. Yeah, I mean, I'm here, so. Cool, live switch, caught on camera. You know, it just, it makes it look like a parlor trick, you know? Like, if you go up and you ask a system to switch on command, you better have a fucking good reason to do so, right? Like... And this is the reason why I didn't want to come out, like, 
I I can't shut my fucking mouth on this on this whole idea of like Sandra said, "Hey, we're going to do a video on switching. Maybe we could switch on camera." I said, "Are we going to be spectacle or whatever?" Like I know this is going to end up being like one of our more viewed videos because we're going to because Sandra is going to put like live switch caught on camera in the fucking thumbnail and like People are going to go, oh, because, like, you want to see it. Like, I get, I get the curiosity. Like, it's, it's a thing that people aren't, like, familiar with. If Sandra really wanted to get the views, she should have switched Dice in. Dice's videos are, like, among our most viewed. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I guess, I, I guess I should talk about, like, what I, how I feel right now. Um, my vision's a little bit hazy, um, and my brain is still trying to, like, catch up a little bit. Um, in terms of memory, I only sort of remember what Sandra talked about. Um, I don't really remember many details. Around Switches, we often get this kind of association that's, like, I don't remember a time where I was not doing this. Man, I'm zonked out, man. Whatever. So, like, you saw the parlor trick. <sighs> Subscribe or whatever. We do videos that aren't as flashy as this, but, uh, I think they're pretty good. So, like, fucking later, skater.